Example 27, x squared minus 9x plus 12. So let's write x and x. And then we need two numbers that are going to add up to a negative 9 and multiply to give me a positive 12. So let's see, could we do a x minus 6 and x minus 2? Those two numbers will multiply to give me a positive 12, but they add up to negative 8, not negative 9, so that won't work we could try negative x minus 4, x minus 3, that doesn't work. We could try um, x minus 12, x minus 1, that doesn't work either. It turns out none of the factors of 12 are going to work here. None of the factors of 12 are going to be able to add up to give me a negative 9. This doesn't factor. This is irreducible. And you can conclude that, basically, if you try all the possibilities. We went through all the possible factors of 12, and none of them were able to add up to a negative 9. And then number 28. We know we're going to need an x something and an x something. Because when we do a FOIL here, that's going to give us the x squared. And what's going to give us a y squared over here when we do our last in the first outer inner last. Well a y will. So let's try this x plus y times x plus y. Well if we do the FOIL we get a x squared and then we get a plus xy and a plus xy that gives me a plus 2xy and then the last terms give me a y times y for y squared. And you might recognize that as a common pattern. x plus y times x plus y or x plus y squared always multiplies out to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Or another way of say, saying the same thing is that this expression x squared plus 2xy plus y squared always factors as x plus y times x plus y or x plus y squared.